As time passes, each lifetime harvests the forces of good and evil inherent in human nature. But nature is volatile. This book chronicles an age when the natural balance was disrupted, when men bowed down to oblivion and a terrifying evil was unleashed. Elders who sought to protect the innocent hid the book. So for a hundred decades, these chapters have remained dormant. But the story has to be told. And even now, as the first page turns, the cancer spreads once more. The light succumbed first, as darkness cloaked the distinctive figure of a twisted man. Souls that were not seduced by his power were bridled with pain until their spirits broke. His warped body was a testament to the pain that he consumed. Even his blood curdled as it seeped through his hollow veins, keeping his vacuous heart pumping. But its beat remained strong and constant, even as his hands tightened round his wife's neck. Slowly, he squeezed the life from her fragile body. She had dared to crave intimacy, and after years of chilling indifference, she'd finally turned to one she thought could save her. Nemesis had been her husband's loathed enemy. They became lovers. Tragically, Silver witnessed their infidelity, sealing both their fates. Silver had savored his wife's pain, knowing that Nemesis would be compelled to exact revenge. He was not disappointed. Nemesis saturated his soul with vengeance and planned Silver's demise. But it was Reuben, an acclaimed artist, who finally offered Nemesis ultimate retribution. He created an exhibition of paintings depicting Silver's life. His rival's vanity assured his attendance at the opening. Reuben soiled each canvas until he required only one image to fulfill his vile biography. Nemesis.